Hello, Cancer. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Free Speaks Guidance. This is What's Next with Your Love Life. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate all of you. Cancer, it is a general timeless reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Whenever you're guided to the message is exactly when you are meant to see it, and there is no gender in tarot. Let's hop into this and see what spirit has to say. I will be doing an extended to this reading. If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. If you're seeking something more personal, I am doing a $20, $25 special on a one question personal reading. Let's hop into this and see what you need to know. Cancer. Make sure you drop the zodiac sign of the person on your mind in the comment section so I can pull their energy. Like the video so I can pull your energy. Cancer, love. Spirit, show me what's next with cancer. Cancer, what's going on with cancer's love life right now? Show me what is going on with cancer. Cancers in love. Cancer. Cancer. Overall energy, somebody's giving you mixed signals. One minute they want the connection, the next minute they don't. You're dealing with somebody that's hot and cold. If you're single and you're dating, this is what I see coming in. I see an individual that's coming in that's giving mixed signals. As I stated, one minute they want to be in a relationship, the next minute they don't. Up underneath the bottom of the deck, this is an old flame. This is somebody you've dealt with. So I do see someone coming into your energy, but I don't feel like they're new. If they are new, they're going to remind you of somebody that you've dealt with in the past is what I see. If this is somebody from your past that's coming back around, this is that individual that gave you mixed signals when you were dealing with them. If this is somebody new and you know you're dating new people, this is somebody that's coming in and they're acting a lot like somebody you dealt with from the past is what I see for you. So, mate, you got unfinished business with this particular person is what I see here. Strong karmic soul tie you have tied to this particular individual. Fresh start. They want another chance. They want another chance. They want to redo. Fear of rejection and not knowing how to reach out to you. So what I see next for your love life cancer is I see someone that obviously you've dealt with at some point in time in your life. This person rejected you when you were dealing with them in the past. They didn't know what they wanted. Now they're coming back and they're asking for a second chance with you. Cancer. Messages for cancer regarding love. Cancer and love. What does cancer need to know? Show me what cancer needs to know regarding this connection. Show me what cancer needs to know regarding the connection. Seven of swords, they were a liar. They lied. They lied to you when you were with them. They went through some shit. Somebody has been going through some shit. Somebody has been getting some karma. Look how look how drawn down this person is. This person has been going through some shit. The challenge with this particular person, after they gave you those mixed signals, this person has not been able to find love is what I see. There was some form of third party here that was in this person's energy that they were thinking things were going to work out with that things did not work out with this third party. Whoever this third party is that they chose over you, because this looks like that's exactly what happened here. Things didn't work out the way they thought they were going to. With this five of swords here, the third party has betrayed them and the third party has left them hanging. And now guess what? They're looking at you. Now they're looking at you and they don't know how to approach you. They don't know how to approach you because they gave you mixed signals in the past. They don't know how to approach you because they lied to you in the past. They didn't tell you that there was a third party here. Now the third party is gone. Now here they come dragging they behind back to you. What is the challenge? What is the challenge? What is the challenge for cancer when it comes to this person? What's the challenge here? Five of Pentacles. I feel like the problem with this is because they treated you so cold in the past, you might be giving them the same cold energy. And you're definitely afraid to trust that they're going to stick around. You're afraid that they may up and ghost you again. 
So even though they're coming back and they're asking for a fresh start with you, you're going to be in fear that this person is going to ghost you again. Because when you trusted this person with your heart the last time, they up and they ghosted you. How does cancer view this person? How is cancer viewing this person? How does cancer view this particular person? Will of fortune, you felt like it was over or you will feel like it's over with this person. You're moving on. You're moving on. You're opening yourself up to something new after that you had a hard time getting over this person from giving you mixed signals and ghosting you. Now here they come back. Here they come rushing back. And the thing about them rushing back, they're expecting you to, to let them back in. They're going to try to rush it. So they'll sit, they'll reach out, they'll call and they'll text and they'll be trying to rush a connection with you. They're, they're going to blow your phone up. This is energy of somebody blowing you up now, expecting you to take them back. So they have their expectations of you is to give them another chance. Like they didn't ghost you. They acting like, you know, you ghosted me, right? You know, you gave me mixed signals. They made you think it was going to be something the last time up and ghosted you for a third party. It didn't work out there. Now they're rushing back in, love bombing you. And you're scared. You're scared. Cancer. Messages for cancer regarding love. What is the most important thing cancer needs to know regarding this connection? What's the most important thing? We got you need you're gonna have to set boundaries. So if you're even considering taking this particular person back in your life, you're gonna have to set some very strict boundaries with this particular person. Yes, they've gotten their karma for how they treated you. Yes, that third party did walk away from them and betrayed them with that five of swords we just saw. So they got betrayed by a third party that they walked away from, walked away from you with. But you need to set some boundaries with this connection before you just open up and let them back in. Actions cancer is going to take when it comes to this person. What will cancer do? We got the high priest here. Cancer, a lot of you guys are sitting in silence trying to figure this out. Is what I see. A lot of you guys will not trust this energy. Pisces energy. Let's pull for them. What I see here, you could be dealing with a Leo, a Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio. Is here as well. Taurus is here. I see somebody from your past who gave you mixed signals in the past, walked away from you, chose a third party. I feel like they were already in the relationship with this third party when you were dealing with them. You found out after the fact that there was someone else. They're coming back around and they're love bombing you. They're trying to rush into a connection with you. And the way they're approaching this situation when they come back around they're acting all happy, go lucky, like they want to start a family with you. They're talking about building a future with you. When you're having conversations with this particular person, they'll be talking about what you guys are going to do next month. They're, they're going to be making plans, future plans with you. You won't trust it. You will not trust this particular person. And you will not trust this particular person over the way they moved the last time. They're going to be moving this time the same way they moved the last time. They made the same type of promises the last time they were there and then they ghosted you. And now they're coming back and they're making these promises again. I feel like you're going to be afraid. You're going to be extremely afraid of what this person will do. Cancer. How does this person view cancer right now? How is this person viewing cancer? How do they view cancer at this time? Knight of Swords. So whoever this particular person is that you're dealing with, they feel like you're being short. They feel like you're upset. You're good. They're feeling like you're upset. You feel like they're only coming back around just to have sex with you. So you got your guard up. You have all right to have your guard up. You had sex with them, trusted them the last time, and they played you. Now they're looking at you like, why are you mad? Why are you so short with me? Why are you being mean to me? They feel like they're viewing you as somebody that's rejecting them. They are viewing you as rejecting them because you're upset with them. How do they view cancer? Whoever this particular person is, this is somebody that views you as acting off of emotions, cancer. 
They feel like you're cutting them out or you're being mean to them or being short because you're hurt. They feel like you still have a lot of love for them and they view you as somebody that's seeking some form of an apology. What is the challenge here for them when it comes to cancer? What is the challenge? What is the challenge? The magician, queen of swords, mind games, master manipulator. Some of you guys are dealing with a with somebody that knows how to manipulate this situation. They know exactly what to say in order to get, get to you is what I see. They know how to trigger you. This is somebody that definitely knows how to trigger you. And you're trying to be stern here. You're trying to be strong when it comes to this particular person because you know, you know they're very manipulative. Some of you guys are dealing with a master manipulator that has a way with words. What actions would this person take? What actions would this person take when it comes to cancer this upcoming week? What would their actions be? What actions will they take when it comes to cancer? You can expect an apology, begging. Them telling you about their single. Them telling you they want to start a family with you. This is what you're going to get. I apologize. Can I have a fresh start? Can I get another chance? I'm single. They're going to tell you. They're going to tell you that they're single. And I feel like they are because whoever they were with, they're not with that person anymore. So they're going to tell you that they're single. Don't and be careful because it looks like they're going to. I see pregnancy in this energy between the two of you. If you cross the line with this person sexually, I see pregnancy here. If you can get pregnant or you can get somebody pregnant and they can get pregnant, I see the two of you guys conceiving a child in the mix of this reconnect is what I see here. Thank you guys for liking the video. Thank you. So what I see in the upcoming week is I see a reconnect with somebody from your past that you have a soul tied to. You already may have a child with this particular person. Whoever this person is, you're going to be afraid to trust this person. They are asking for a fresh start. When they do come back into your energy, this person is single. So the third party is not there. They're definitely single when they do come back around. This is the one that gave you mixed signals in the past. They gave you mixed signals in the past because they were with somebody, but they're not with their person anymore. Let's hop into this and see, they extend it to see how this is going to play out. Spirit, give me clear, honest messages. Clear, honest messages for the collector. Clear, honest messages for the collective. If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. Is this person in love with cancer? What is their true intentions for coming back around to cancer? Is this person looking for love or are they looking for help? What will block this from being a successful relationship? If there's been no communication, are they missing cancer or thinking about cancer? Do they regret how they did cancer? Will they apologize for playing with cancer's heart and it be sincere? Can cancer trust this person if they've already taken them back? Does this person stalk cancer? Is this person dealing with anybody at this point in time? Is there a third party that they're dealing with? Are they in love or still in love with the third party? Is the third party still in love with them? Will these two people get back together? How will this connection play out? What is this person hiding from cancer? Is this cancer soulmate or a karmic lesson? Will this person come back around in the next 30 days? Should cancer give them a chance when they do? And will this lead to a long-term healthy relationship for cancer and this person? Cancer, if you're interested in how this un will unfold with this particular individual, that is coming back, that is single. I'm can't I gotta put that out there. They have gotten rid of the third party. If you're interested in how this is gonna unfold, the link is in the description box below to purchase the extended. If you're seeking something more personal, my contact information is in the description box below. I am sending love and light your way. Enjoy the remainder of your day. Namaste.